about a year ago, we did this video. DDR4 versus DDR5. We looked into the cost to performance ratio on DDR5 memory compared to DDR4 and at that time concluded that DDR5 was not worth it. It was too expensive, the motherboards were too expensive and the net gain was too small. But what about today? Here in the last quarter of 2023, we decided to re-evaluate that conclusion. I teamed up with Kingston and some of their brightest heads to answer some of the more technical questions. So first of all, let's do a quick recap on what memory actually is. The memory, or the RAM as it's also referred to as, helps the computer with everyday tasks and to perform them more quickly. It is where temporary information is stored, giving your PC a lot faster access to many processes. Opening many applications will therefore use a lot of RAM. If you use all of your RAM, all tasks will slow down immensely and in some cases become unstable. So let's talk about the difference between DDR4 and DDR5. The number 4 and 5 refers to the generation of the memory and arguably it's one of the biggest generational leaps since we switched from SRAM to DDR technology. DDR5 brings better channel efficiency, better power management and optimized performance for next generation multi-core computing systems. DDR4 stopped at 16 gigabit density which enabled up to 32 gigabytes of RAM where DDR5 has access to 24 gigabit density which then allows up to 48 gigabytes of RAM per stick. The increased data transfer rate, usually referred to as megatransfers per second, lower DRAM voltage and increased capacity, which are also some of the improvements you see with the DDR5. So where is there even a case considering DDR4 RAM when DDR5 seems better in all aspects? One of the arguments in our previous video was that the cast latency of DDR4 is better, which some game titles like CSGO actually use. That means CSGO was faster with DDR4 memory than DDR5. But with CSGO gone, we no longer have any noteworthy titles where this is an argument and we're only left with one argument, DDR4 is cheaper. And yes, DDR4 is cheaper. And if you were to upgrade to DDR5, you would also need to upgrade your motherboard. This was especially expensive last year, but what about today? Previously, you would pay a premium price for just a small increase in performance. But now the increase of price more or less matches the increase of performance, which makes the argument for upgrading a bit easier. With newer gaming titles slowly requiring more memory and they benefit from increased speed, choosing DDR5 over DDR4 seems like a very reasonable way of upgrading your system. Many AAA gaming titles have a minimum requirement of 12 GB RAM, where they recommend 16 GB. So if we look a couple of years into the future, it's not unthinkable that we will reach 32 GB of recommended RAM. The 14th generation Intel processors will also support higher frequency DDR5 memory, which again raises the bar of how much we can squeeze out of RAM. So how does faster memory impact gaming? You will experience smaller increases in frame rate, but that's not the most noticeable. It does, however, become more noticeable when we look at how quickly game levels, textures and assets load. And for gamers who like to multitask, like streaming or having multiple applications running, having faster and more memory ensures that the system can handle multiple processes without a notable degradation in performance. Last year, the payoff for getting DDR5 memory just wasn't there, unless you were born with a silver spoon up your butt. But this year, the story is different. This year, you actually get what you pay for. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them down below.